Welcome back. We are here uh, halfway through the games already. Um, pretty quick games, by the way. Um, and now we're going to go on to a Protoss versus Terran Midas against back home. All right. It's a little bit of a change, being that we had a Protoss versus Zerg first two sets of today. Um, we have our our lone Terran here tonight. And then uh, game four, or set four, rather, is going to be Protoss versus Zerg again. And uh, like I said earlier, um, so far, only Effort and Hoja now are the two Zergs that are left in the round of 16. Um, yeah. And it's true. It's true. Yeah. It is. It, 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 it's it's crazy, actually. Um, Zergs are so rare. I don't know what it is. They're they're a rare species. <laughs> but it's funny because the Zerg won the last tournament. Um, oh my and, god, you're right. Yeah, and, but I mean, I don't believe there were that many Zergs uh, there last time. For whatever reason, right now in pro gaming, um, the Zergs are having a hard time. Um, While the Protoss are just like they're just dominating. At it. Yeah. My people are dominating <laughs> right now. For we ire. Protoss. Yes. yes. Yeah, uh, anyway. But I think I think uh, that you know it can always change. There's going to be a period where uh, then all of a sudden Protoss are going to start having a hard time. So we'll we'll see what happens. Again, Terran versus Zerg in the finals. So you know, uh, Protoss aren't owning up that hard yet. Not not to the point where it's annoying. Um, <laughs> all right, our map is destination again. Um, since we always maintain the same map order. Um, now, this is one of those maps where we could actually see a very short game, not because it's a one-on-one -on -one map or anything like that, um, but, but particularly because of the, the type of strategies Protoss can utilize um, on this one-on-one -on -one map. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of funny you said that. I mean, the OSL final, was it the o no, MSL final was uh, Protoss versus Protoss. Yes, yes. Um, Protoss are just, uh, I don't know, they're, they're just dominating right now. They're ballers. Yes. All right. So Midas <laughs> versus Backo. Um, we have our two players here. They are both, again, just like Hoja and just like Two Sky didn't wasn't able to do. Um, they are also players who've been around. They're, um, you know, a standard name on the roster for each of their teams. Yeah, yeah. These however, are known guys. However, they're the ones who haven't yet been in that spotlight. That spotlight. Yes, you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, that's true. Um, Midas. Again, a name that we've heard all along. He's been around forever. Did you know he used to? He was a RTS pro gamer. Yes. He played Kingdom Under Fire. Oh, really? Yes. Actually, I, that, that is totally new to me. I did not know he, that. He um he was he played a Kingdom Under Fire play uh, game until that went away, and then uh, Zelos actually saw him and like kind of took him under his wing, brought him to CJ, and hence why he's a Terran player. Yes. I mean, he learned under Zelos basically, and then um. I think I forgot what year it was, but him and Go Rush decide to leave CJ and go to SK, and uh, I, I don't know what happened to their relationship after that. But but I'm, that's I'm sure it's of, still positive. I'm sure it is, and that's where uh, Midas got his start, basically, into coming into StarCraft Pro Gaming. Um, he used to also be. Do you remember that map called uh, Another Day? I actually I don't. It's yeah, like there's from 2003. So many maps. Yeah, there's. I'm sorry. Actually, I, I don't remember that map off the top of my head. All right. Well, apparently he was. He went eight and zero oh with that with that map. Oh really? Yeah. And uh, oh, there he is. There's the man we're talking about. You know, I I, I actually know Midas on on a personal level. He is seriously so nice. Really? This is a, he's a really nice guy. All right. Um, it looks like he wasn't around for season one, but yeah. here he is making his debut at the Gome Classic in season two. Um. There you go. I mean, his rank, his Casper ranking is 25. Um, he's at 292 wins, 183 losses, which is, you know, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I think, um, I think he's going to show us a very interesting game here. Now, this is one of those guys who's kind of like those top three Terrans. He was one of those people, uh, you know, when you were a Terran player, you were talking about Terran. His name was always coming up here. Yes, um, I, I know he that. was mentored a lot by I Love OOV. Mm -hmm. um, he was one of these guys who, um, Really uh, had an interesting style here. And here you can see his stats right now. It looks like he's a lot more of a defensive player, as that second bar will tell you with the 8.3. Um, his dexterity not so high at 6.5, but um, definitely stardom. Look at the last line there. It's his, like, star quality or, like, how famous he is. And he's uh, he's up there with the 8.5 again. He, he, he's, he's, a, he's a really strong player, um, and I think um, you know, he, well, he's been on SK Telecom for a while now, if I remember correctly. Since 2005, yeah. yeah. Still working with I Love OOV, who I just saw and said hello to backstage. Um, yeah, he's, he's definitely a, a good guy, and yeah. a, a strong player at that as well. All right, well, there's, uh, and now here is Backho, um, our Protoss player. As you can see, he made it to the round of four last, he made, whoa. Whoa. All right. Wild. He uh, lost to um, 
he lost to Flash basically in season one. Uh, season two, here he is testing his luck again, trying to make it into the round of 16. Um, each of these guys, I mean, after any time left for um, the ace team, he's pretty much the only Protoss, you know. And so LeCamp has really been uh, using him a lot. You know, he warms up here by mangling that beanbag. <laughs> that's, how, that's how he gets ready. Actually, actually, no, that's actually a heat it's a pack. Heat pad. He just pretends that's the other nerd's face. Ugh, I'm going to destroy him. <laughs> His ranking is at 19, as you can see. Um, he's more of an... Um, a aggressive player. Again, that first line is his attack percentage, and they put him at a 7.3 for this. Um, he's been playing a lot more lately. Uh, in the Pro League, he's played nine games out of 11 possible ones, uh, and LeCaf has been really using him. He's kind of overwhelmed lately, however, um, because his team's been using him, so he's trying to plan his place. He's not used to the spotlight so much, but let's see how he does today. Yeah, let, let's see how he does indeed. Um, I'm excited to see um, what type of style he's going to show us right now. I know um, in Season 1 I kept kind of saying, okay, he's, he's usually known for standard play, and then he was doing all this crazy stuff and making me look bad. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see in a minute here what he's doing. By the way, that's not actually a beanbag. It is, they have uh, hot packs for the players um, when it becomes winter because StarCraft is a game you need to have very warm hands to play. Um, Oh, because I'm being, otherwise you can't be you I'm can't being be fast. called out. I'm getting called out. I think, I think Cal is about to leave, so I need to interview him now. So oh, is it time? I'm going to leave you. Yeah, I'll be right Farewell, back. Farewell, Susie. I won't, I won't even bother moving my chair this time. It, it, it does not move very easily. All right, well, I think we're going to get this going, so get ready. Dot com is now online. Some girl running in here, and she just totally fell over and tripped. Um, trying to get back here to see this game. I love my job. I really do. I am a happy man. Oh my God, Bacco's gonna do a proxy. I got this secret, guys. I got this really, really cheesy build on this map that I was using an I cup. It's really strong. You go pylon on seven, gateway on seven, right outside their main, and then send your probe up the ramp so they can't wall in. And um. And then if they build their barracks somewhere else right away, then you go take their gas, and then you can, like, fast expand with cannons um, and defend. It is ridiculous. I've had so many people disconnect me on iCup when I do that to them. I think we're going to see that in this game as well, apparently. Backo, you're stealing my builds. Well, Terran players at the pro level are trained to detect... Um, early rushes, um, and they're trained uh, a lot. They spend a lot of their time practicing how to stop them. What do I need to do to stop, um, you know, a certain rush like this? I think this is a gate on seven. Um, that's so cool. He's doing what I do. Um, so, you know, Midas's micro should be quite good. Now, um, what he wants to do now is stop his opponent. Oh, the barracks is already up. Now he's going to take the gas. Let's find out how Backo does this. Well, apparently he doesn't take the gas at all. Because he would have done that right away. Now he goes ahead and harasses the SCDs. Does everything he can with um, the probe right now. Is he going to do any manor pylons? It's always possible. Although it's more likely in Protoss versus Protoss. All right. In a moment here, there is going to be, um, well, Fury is going to be unleashed here on Midas. Midas is going to have to defend very well. And then he's going to have to, have to play this off by ear as to how to um, respond perfectly to take down Baka, who probably already has Baka plans. You know, all right, this all rush didn't quite work. Go to plan B. All right, that one's not working. Go to plan C. These rush belts like this for pro gamers are very technical. Now, this is not good for Midas. The factory is north of the refinery. And um, that's bad because he can go ahead and get over there and get the SCD. The probe goes down, but so does the Marines. Damn. That probe, uh, his death has been avenged by his zealot buddy. Really nice micro here by Midas. 
really, really nice micro. Uh, I'm a bit shocked this micro is actually um, going well so far, this well so far. What he really wanted to do, though, uh, is, is get this SCV making the factory. The Vultures get out here. Uh, backhoe um, is going to be in a lot of trouble. Wow, Midas is really letting me down here with his micro all of a sudden. He's not microing as well. What is this Zealot doing? Come on, man. Help backhoe out here, Zealot. What are these Zealots doing? You guys are fired, man. All right, the Vulture's on the way out. This guy knows he's going to have a short life. Whoa, whoa. He's pissed. All right, he's going to sandwich these two Marines. But Midas knows all he has to do is keep um, keep alive until his Vulture can come out here. Every SCV counts. That's what this rush is really for. Look at this micro. Well, one of them's being used. Man, back up, man. Did you forget to take your micro pills this morning? Seriously, he could have even done more damage than that. Now, here's where he has to be careful. Um, and I think he's going to be prepared for that. He might be able to wall in with a gateway and two pylons um, in his main if the vulture decides to go by. Okay, he knows exactly where the gateway is now. Now, he's a smart player. He's going to go right by it. Now, this is really smart by Batco here. He sends his extra zealot in here to slip around. Now, Batco has to wall and he has to get a gateway up. He has to get something up, a pylon, gateway, something, something, something. Oh, my God. And if that vulture had not done a little twirly-durly down there, uh, this game could actually look uh, pretty different. All right. Once again, Batco uh, is zealots. Not too happy with life. Okay, Terran's contained right now. Now, he's doing what you would normally do as Terran. You continue to harass that uh, pylon. But there's going to be a Dragoon out here. That, so he stops. He's going to let the uh, Protoss take that out instead. I think he really should have had a Zealot farther back than this. Wow. Uh, okay, so now this game's starting to get really interesting here. Uh, ask the Panda Bear guy. He's right there. Um... If he can get control of this gateway, he should be able to get an expansion up. Okay, he's playing a few mines out here. He's not sure if his opponent's DT rushing or not. Actually, this is going to be bad. If those, if he chases those dragoons into the mines, oh, oh even up there. Uh oh, looks like this. Uh, oh, oh man, oh man, oh god. Oh, nice shooting! Look at those baller goons. Totally take out uh, anything that's left there. Panda Bear guy's gonna keep an eye on the proxy gateway. Uh oh, tear down that wall! I want to be with my dragoon brothers. He cannot get out um, to help out the other dragoon right now. So it looks like Protoss is temporarily contained. It appears as though um, Baco is actually more comfortable just containing himself right now. Oh, whoa! Smart move there. Damn. Action Zealot. Hi, Nick. Hello. Welcome back. Came back some good action here, I see. Yeah, he is. he's pretty serious um, about keeping that gateway alive if he can. More mines have been planted here. See, Bakko doesn't know if his opponent's DT rushing. I actually don't know either. We haven't gotten a shot of the main yet. So he takes out the pylon. And here's the main. Is he going to get a... Uh, What's he getting? Is that a robo robotics facility? Either Reaver Drop or Observers. Basically, what the focus here is for the Protoss is to just make sure you got enough SCVs out early on that um, as we get into the mid game, the Protoss will just be dramatically ahead. Observatory right away. He needs to clear out those mines, which are um, walling them in. Minus with a really late SCV transfer here. Where are the SCVs? There they are. And you can see he's not transferring as much as you normally see because he lost so much um, back there. He's in a hurry to get this expansion up. Midas stops that. He takes out the probe a few seconds, one over for Midas, as he desperately tries to get ahead in this game that he's behind him. Wow. They are the same color. Look at that. He almost kind of clicked flash. on it. I was sure almost clicked on it. I don't know why that would make me excited, but, you know, it, it did. Um... Okay, he's going to go for the Stargate. That's actually common, but really smart for the Terran here to get the Star, um, not Stargate, Starport, 
because he uh, he wants to do a little bit of harassment. Sometimes Protoss gets a little bit excited here, overextends himself. Here's a scanner on the way. Okay, now this actually could be bad news. It looks like Backhoe um, may be overexpanding, um, as we fear. All right, he's going to get an Nexus up here in a minute. Okay, um, man, we get a lot of shot of the panda bear guy. A lot of shots. Shot plural. Now, he's taking out these uh, mines. He's moving in towards his opponent. The problem is that if he does get a dropship out, the main is going to be pretty much undefended. He's going to block it off with a robotic support base, so both uh, we and Midas are going to know that Reavers are on the way. So in this phase of the game, both the players are going to go um, for harassment early on here. Hey, I just uh, noticed that's two Nexuses that's being built at the same time. Is that a good idea for him to do? Yeah. Well, it, it, it is and it isn't. It's, pr it's pretty common, actually, to just go double Nexus and a double expand. It could be dangerous, though, because the Terran's going fast uh, Star up, uh, fast star yeah, that's port. what I meant because of this dropship. You know, I'm wondering, so, will he have enough time to, you know... Well, it's up to his micro and, and how um, quickly he can multitask here. He's losing a lot of probes, though. Oh, wow, there's two vultures back there. Now, um, you can see he's going to try to go in there and uh, get some type of a surround um, on those tanks. He's going to try to come at a very good angle here. Looks like he is going to try to slip in here. Really nice micro here by Midas, really splitting up the weaker units, putting them in and out of dropships. Oh, he's going to go right for the dropship. That was really smart. Look at this micro. And he's just grabbing the weaker ones. Really good micro here by both these guys. Really impressive, honestly. You can see he's been so preoccupied. Bako has been... Uh, he hasn't even been able to transfer um, workers to that expansion. Panda bear guy, you're getting pretty near the mines again. Isn't he more of a polar bear guy? No, he's a panda bear guy. It's too late. We're in Korea. we got to call him the panda bear guy. Somebody actually wrote me a message on MySpace. It's a long explanation of why he needs to be the polar bear guy. We're not going back. We must commit. We must stay the course here. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, good no vibe, probes. probes. Midas' harassment is turning out to be very effective. You know, Midas had a really bad October, and so I'm kind of happy to see that he's having a better... Yeah, he's doing a lot December? better now. No, it's not December yet, right? No. Next week. Next no, week will be. I think in a day or two. Oh, jeez. I should know that, but I don't. Okay, he's got a Wraith out. That's the exact counter to um, early Reavers because you can snipe the shuttle. Which means that Reaver's only going to be good for stopping pushes. Which um, doesn't really put Backhoe in a bad position, but it does uh, put Midas um, a little bit better off as far as safety goes. You can see he's continuing to plant mines in these areas where his Dragoons may rush to to defend. Okay, one cannon up here. That's also standard. Um, if you see dropships, you want to get like maybe a cannon here and there. Um, so you can defend. Midas is, is planning on pushing out here to defend um, that command center that he's going to land over there in a little bit. Um, he's hoping that he's hurt his opponent enough that uh, well that he can get away with this. We're going to see speed actually upgraded on the shuttle. Very interesting play here. Okay, he is, uh, he is, he guys, he's gonna go right in here for like a, a pretty serious drop. Where is. is the Wraith? What is he doing? Why is that scarab just. Oh my oh. god, that was the worst scarab I've the... ever seen in my life. Alright, well, that followed up with a really good scarab, so. What is Midas doing? Now he can get out of there pretty quickly. What? Move, uh -huh. move, move. That's the problem with the, uh, the Wraith is it can it snipe a, um, a shuttle even if it has speed if you just attack micro at right. Okay. We, um, 
We'll see the expansion get up here pretty soon. The problem for Midas, though, is that he's already lost a lot of SCVs. And when you lose that many SCVs, um, you know, your expansion's not quite as helpful. You can't transfer that many SCVs to it. Okay, he's moving out now. Let's see if he just sets up some turrets or if he actually attempts to attack. You know, if he takes out the Reaver and his opponent's lost that many probes, I mean, it's one of these positions where, hey, he could actually lose, um, you know, just to a normal push. Okay, the uh, eBay, going to be up in a minute here. He's probably worried about storm drops at this phase of the game. Um because he saw the speed shuttle. If you get a speed shuttle early on, man, your storm drops are good in the late game. All right, that's about 13 uh, tanks there, but 20 Dragoons all creeping around somewhere. You know, I actually think Midas could just push and kill him, but I'm not sure if Midas knows that yet. Vaco probably realizes he's actually not in very good shape, but mm. it doesn't appear as though Midas has caught on. does have more food. I mean, does that make a difference there? Um, It does make a difference, but I just figure if he came in there at the right angle, you know, he doesn't have a shuttle and when he has that many vultures and that many tanks, he can, if he gets it at a right angle, he can really obliterate his opponent's army. Oh my god, the Panda Bear guy dead again. We just got a shot of it. Wow. Wow, he died again? I don't even know how he died. I don't even know, man. I am getting sick of going to your funeral, man. This is ridiculous. He's dead again? We're not even getting shots of it anymore, which is not as exciting, but still. Oh! He got another shot here. He's zealot bombing the hell out of these tanks. Wow. Now Protoss is looking good. He took out that many tanks. That's impressive. Protoss trying to expand again here. Uh, these vultures are not going to let that happen. This is a tough map for Protoss to defend on, especially in the late game, because there's so many back doors here. He's going to get this next. He has to cancel, cancel, cancel. He cancels just in time. Okay. Um, well, Batco is getting close to getting max. Terran should be pushing at about 160 here. Temple Archives on the way. It's pretty late Temple Archives, though. Gotta be careful with mines on the high ground like that. Um, your dragoons might not spot them right away, but blow up in the dragoon's face. Okay, he's got another shuttle out here. Let's see what he's gonna do with it. You think Bako's waiting to just get maxed out before attacking, or? Well, I think he's just gonna get maxed out and continue to counterattack. I don't even know if we're gonna see a big major attack here from Bako. In positions like this, you usually just wait for the Terran to push and you keep countering and eventually secure more expansions. Although Midas, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how he's played this game so far. He did manage, ouch, he did manage to get out pretty far here on the map. Here's the science vessel. Now, I'm pretty sure that our, um, our Protoss player is going to tech to Arbiters. Now, if you get the science vessel here, you can actually, um, right away, you can uh, EMP the Arbiters and stop them from doing stasis and if you can uh, stop them from doing the stasis you can just seriously hardcore push your opponent. Double shuttle, double trouble. Um, he could uh, really drop that on some tanks here. There's this kind of new trend where a lot of top Protoss players would go ahead and get two shuttles after they go Reaver and just continue to drop twice as many units into your main because if you drop one full of Zealots they can take out all the tanks and then you can drop the Reaver and really take out a lot of stuff. Well, there's Looks like, his army, yeah. yeah. Look, yeah, I guess he's, looking, he's, using, he's using this more for um, zealot bombing. Taking out three tanks there. Midas is inching forward here. I think he's just waiting for the uh, expansion. Well, you can see he's uh, trying to force the Terran to get a little bit intimidated, focus on the middle, and then he counterattacks up here at these expansions. Planting mines in front of the uh, cannon. A little crazy here. And he does take it out. No problems there. He just wants his opponent to lose a few extra units here and there, or at least get him softened up. But you can see Midas is having a hard time figuring out exactly where he's going to go and, and what he's going to do. Double armory here.
And here is um, the star uh, ports, star gates. That word is messing with me today. And um, he's going to... He does. I don't see Arbiters yet, which means Midas' push could actually be quite powerful. He does have Storm, though. And a lot of well-done Storms could really mess this stuff up. Damn it, Midas. you got to stop teaching at this moment. That goes all about these, um, these Zealot Bombs. Nice Psy Storm there. Cleaning up those weakened units. There's no way Midas can get up there now. Oh, did he just EMP that? Yes, he did. He EMP. Oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Somebody get um, those Templars some mana. Too bad this isn't Warcraft 3 and there's no mana potions for them because they are unable to cast anything. And now Terran can get up there. He's going to counterattack. There's nothing you can... There's no storm. <laughs> There's no storm. Too. Well, I don't know. Maybe he has one or two that still have storm. He's going to try to counterattack here. I think most of these Protoss units are going to melt, though. That's wow. What it looks like here with the blue blood. This is a little painful to There's see here. One, yeah. Well, now Protoss doesn't have, um, what, what, what do we call it, an army? Yes. That's the word I was looking for, an army. <laughs> he does not have an army right now. And I think Terran's just going to try to manor push him. Actually, Midas is playing really cautiously. Well, Arbiters are on the way. I really think he should have just mass pushed him there. Shuttles could be pretty helpful here. Um, but the thing is that with Vultures nearby him, they're just not quite as good. He takes out the Nexus. Vaco is not looking good at all. The Zealot bombing isn't even that effective anymore. We see a lot of buildings um, getting warped in here, more gateways. Well, if Minus knows that, you know, he's just taken, pretty much melted a bunch of uh, the Protoss' units, why doesn't he just push in now? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I I think he should be, but I, I guess he's not going to. I think he probably thought Arbiters would have been ready for him, you know, but the Arbiters were out so late. You know, it's, it seems like this might be Midas' weakness, is that he's a very good player, but he seems to be playing very, very cautiously um, when he's not analyzing correctly whether or not his opponent is really, really behind or what. I mean, most of the time, if Protoss loses the main army, the game's over. And that's yeah. pretty much what happened there. I just feel like by not pushing, he's uh, allowing the Protoss to uh, go ahead and make I, more of an army, but... I know, I agree, I agree. Protoss has pretty much uh, redeveloped his army now. And um, now Terran is going to... It's going to be a long game. I can tell you that much right now, or at least it should be. We have not seen storm dropping here from um, Backhoe, which surprises me because he did get the shuttle speed. That is pretty strong. But pretty soon, there's going to be a lot of arbiters on the map, and that's when it gets tough for the uh, for the Terran. He's been doing a good job with the EMP, though. I mean, if he can yeah. shut that arbiter down. Um... Yes. If he can, if he can EMP the arbiters, and I guess do another push again, he'll be doing fantastic. 3-2, that's how far along we are in this game. Terran almost fully upgraded. Protoss counterattacking over here, this expansion. Nice, takes out the um, the science vessel. And um, uh, is he going to lose the uh, Arbiter? He does not want to lose that Arbiter. Barely saves it, pulls it back. He's going for the command center now, then he's going to retreat. He takes it out, no problem there. You know, one thing, if you guys want any advice, um, after you take out the command center, if you're going to try to snipe it, take out the scanner, too, because if they remake the command center there, the scanner's going to have 200-200, and that's not what you want when you have Arbiters. You want the Terran to have as little scans as possible. I just keep... You know, I can't help but to wonder why uh, Midas is not pushing. He just seems to have a substantial army yeah. in order to do this. But well, he can't push now. That's no, the no, problem. No, not now. Yeah, yeah, but before. No, I agree. Yeah, uh, he, and, and you know, the problem is now he's going to have to sit back and, and play this kind of um, safe again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's going to be it's going to be pretty tricky for him now, and I think Backo actually may be back in this game. And 
Now looks at look at this. I wasn't sure if he was actually gonna move all the way in there. He is. He's gonna try to overrun his opponent. Here comes the EMP. Misses the arbiter. There's oh my oh. god, that was a good stasis. Damn. You know, if without that stasis, he would have been in trouble. But yeah, he, that was yes. key. That was perfect timing on that. All right, he's going to end up taking out a... Uh... Oh, man, he's going to ride on the uh, mines. All right, I just think I think this actually might be it. Midas might be finished because yeah, Protoss... You know, the, the strategy here for Protoss is they get so much money that they can all of a sudden just start flooding the other guy with units. Trust me. Backo might not even be watching this battle. Backo's back in his base going, clicking uh, DDZZ, DDD, GGD, <laughs> spamming units. And he's just going to try to run him over. Oh, nice storm. And, um, well, Backo's going to regroup his army, reproduce all that, and do it all over again here. The thing about Zealots and Dragoons is they built pretty quickly, unlike the tank. If I remember correctly, um, I don't have like unit building time down perfectly. But... Oh, man. Nice EMP. Um, I think we're going to see, yeah, another stasis here. Midas attempting to counter attempt, not working out so well. And really, this most of this game was going to be focused around this Terran expansion here, which the Protoss is now moving down to. And if he loses that vessel, that'll really hurt. And there it goes. Okay, he's going to get the command center again. Damn. I don't know if Midas can win this now. I mean, the problem is that Midas... I think his hesitation really is hurting him yeah. in this game. No kidding, yeah. He, that's exactly what it is. I mean, he just... He played, he played too safe. He was like, okay, I hope he makes another big mistake like that again. Oh, goodbye, Arbiter. Terran's going to try to counter push. Terran's really throwing everything on the Protoss now up here at the top right, or I should say middle right. Okay, he's trying to get these probes. Backo is expanding, though, and has a pretty good economy over here at the far, um, far left. Well, most of the far left of the map. Backo is going to counterattack once again. He's going to give up the expansion. Nice comeback here by Midas. But Midas, of course, as you can see, has nothing here in the middle of the map, and that's why he's doing so much damage over there. This is going to allow the Protoss to once again bleed down here into the middle. The shuttle's out. Damn, he's got a lot of units. Look at that. He does not have a lot of Arbiters anymore. He just lost that, though. Nice storm there. Terran's microing pretty well up there. This is a very back-and-forth game. Yeah, very. Well, he is going to manage to um, take out some more STDs over here. Now, it's really uh, the economy that he's focusing on uh, right now. He wants to take out as many workers as possible. He's just going to rush in here. Probably try to do a side storm here on some of these workers. Will he get it off? Does he have enough energy? No! Nice EMP. That's going to suck for that Templar. He's just going to have to sit around and watch. Yeah, chilling out there, doing Blizzard nothing. Blizzard did not let him uh, have an attacking ability. Yeah, he's depressed. He's going to kill himself. That was a pretty emo Templar. Emo Templar. Can you believe that that Templar uses a straightener? It's um, uh, just unbelievable. All right, here's uh, Vulture's coming up here. Um, and, uh, yeah, he is taking out that, uh, he's taking out that expansion, um, or at least the probes at it. Man, both these guys taking heavy hits here. Wow, okay, Midas is still kind of stuck right now, but he is slowing Bakko down. He's not just straight up dying. The problem is that that expansion's almost lined out. Bakko is going to have a lot of money. Bakko's a big baller right now. He can definitely continue to produce units at a frightening rate. Okay, he's bloody down here now. I mean, according to the food count, uh, Bakko is almost double what Midas has. And, um, yeah, this is, this is just bad news here. You can see, even though the Terran um, is taking out a lot of Protoss units, the, the, the smart thing that is here... Look is at those storms! Like, there's like those three are damn good storms. Oh, my those God. are damn good storms. All Protoss has to do is, um, 
Yeah, it's just keep whittling down to Terrence Army. And there's and he the gives GG. Up. GG. Wow. Wow. Damn, Becko. This is a good day for Protoss, apparently. I don't think we've seen... When is it not a good day for Protoss? I don't know, man. We are owning it up on IR. <laughs> All right, what? well, then again, like I said, um, Becko has been getting a lot of practice. He's been playing a lot of games in uh, Pro League and things like that, so... You know, you know, I, I got to hand it to him. He, he played really, really well. You can see Becko made that one huge error that was probably a terrifying moment. In that game where he was like, oh, God, I just threw away my entire army. But um, now he's going to come back, it looks like. Um, well, he already did in that game, but, you know, he's definitely capable of winning the series against a player, a veteran like Midas. Uh, really interesting series. Well, do you think Midas could have won that if he had not hesitated at that moment? You know, when Bako came with that army and then army trying to melt it away, had... Had uh, oh, what's his name? Midas. I'm sorry. Woo. Had Midas pushed at that moment, do you think he could have just won it there? I think he might have not just won it there, but he would have at least gotten ahead by a lot. And um, if the Protoss lose their main army and then lose a few expansions, the problem is is that they already made so many gateways. All mm -hmm. of a sudden, they can't make out of all those gateways, um, which means it's almost like, oh, I wish I could have saved my money so I could have made more units to come back. But it's a very weird position, but yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll take a look look at uh, how things are. Well, you know, he's been losing to, uh, Midas has been losing to some, he lost to Chung B. He's been yes, losing to he some just big walked, names and he just walked right past I think he's going to go to the bathroom. He was in a hurry, man. <laughs> uh, we got to maybe get this camera closer or get, you know, some orange cones around our whole area because I think that's like the third <laughs> time I understand. Yeah, that, but... that, that has happened. But uh, yes, he is, um, he's going to take a quick break. And in a long game like that, we'll, we'll let them run to the bathroom. I mean, you know, not the commentators, you know, but the, but the players. But the players. We'll let them do that. Um, <laughs> yes, game, our, our booths don't have bathrooms built into Yeah, I, you might have thought I was sitting on a toilet. I am not. Uh, I actually have pants on right now. It's just, it's not easy being a caster. It's not, you know. Because you have to wear pants. Yeah, I know. It's tough. The things, the oppression, the oppression that these casters <laughs> have to feel. Anyway, all right, so yeah, here we go on to our second game. Well, once he comes back, obviously, on Neo Requiem. Um, no, you laughing at me, Nick. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I was, I was just nothing. Um, I think, um, what was I going to say? What were we talking about? What were we talking about? Before well, pants and... Before, before going to the restroom. Man, one time I was in this game, and I, I had to go so bad. Like, uh, this is like, I think in the GSI, that when I was doing the closing comments, I was like literally like walking to the restroom with a microphone in my hand. And, I, and then like right when it finished, like, bam. Actually, I kind of remember that. I remember translating some things for you that game, and you're sitting there, and you just looked painful. It was bad, man. It was like, the game was like going on forever, man. It was like, oh. Oh, I'm still in therapy for it. It was terrible. It really, it really messed me up, man. All right. Oh, well, our player is back now. He's uh, headed into his booth, which means our second game can start. Uh, I don't know. What, what do you think we can – do you think we're going to see some uh, really defensive play like we have been? or? I think we're going to see um, from the Protoss, Fast, Goons, Terran, um, maybe even Two Factory. Um, you know, the fact that you start on low ground and have to fight on high ground mm -hmm. really uh, is what makes this map interesting. So – um, definitely, you know, watch for that. But um, you know, there's a lot of different things. You we think Backo might do something uh, crazy to just end this game fast? I mean, he he's ahead. You know, you, you know, he could he could go for something like a um, what like a 10, uh, 15 gate um, with a core probably on thirteen and just get really fast, good range. We'll find out though. Get ready. Just a second. Stay tuned. Backo versus Midas. <laughs> Yeah.